Hey guys, it's Julie from Midwest Jewels. You can find me on Instagram and YouTube at Midwest Jewels. And I'm here with another thread up unboxing. Um, this is a DIY designer box. I ordered five of these. <laughs> so um, stay tuned for five parts. Um, so this is the first part. Um, I have looked at all of the boxes. I couldn't film when they came. And so I, I mean, I don't have the patience or yeah, I didn't want to wait. So I didn't. Um, anyway, so these boxes are $120. You get seven pieces. I had some thread up credits. They credited me back, um, $75 for my four piece rent the runway box where three of the items were significantly damaged. Um, so they did refund me for that. So anyway, most of it was bought with my money though. Uh, well, yeah. So let's just get into it. This is actually not in a box. It's in a bag currently because I needed a thread up a sized box to send some boots that I sold. So anyway, this first item is Dolce & Gabbana. It's just a basic boring button down. Like, you know, you don't even know it's Dolce & Gabbana unless it's off. So this is gonna go to the real real. So I'm starting to pile of that for them. Next item are Versace glasses. Eyeglasses. Um nothing exciting. I mean, I don't know why I just did that. Like I'm gonna be able to see them. Uh they're actually pretty kind of gross in the like iPad areas. I don't know. They're old. So I don't know what I'm going to do with those. If you want them, let me know. Next are a pair of shoes. These do have somewhere to the, the heels. It, but yeah, where do the heels? Um, not like the cleanest toes. These are Jimmy Choo. Um, I don't know. I'll probably just sell these myself because they aren't in the best condition. I should still be able to make a little bit of money on them. Um, but yeah. Okay, this next brand. I haven't actually heard of before. Uh, I mean, I think I have, it like sounds familiar, but like I've never found it. I've never looked up comps or anything. So it is Bally. And these are seven and a half, narrow. So just like a vintage loafer. I'll probably try and sell these myself. They're in pretty good condition for being vintage. Um, definitely weren't worn a ton. So I'll probably list to myself, but I have zero idea of what I'm going to get for those. All right. Wouldn't be a thread up box if there weren't some very bellows in there. Let's have some cat hair on them <laughs> from my cats. Um, anyway, so not the ugliest, but these are like, these are a seven double A. So very narrow. Um, I'll probably list them, still be able to get like $20, $25 for them. They're not in the worst condition, just a little bit of wear to the suede. Okay, so now this box was kind of a bummer, like for me anyway, till, till now. So this is a Gucci belt and it's actually on a Gucci belt belt. Let's try my, oh, there it is. But it does have an issue, which honestly, I don't think is a big issue if you were wearing it. But right here, it's coming apart. There, you can see it. But yeah, I mean, if you were wearing it, you wouldn't be able to tell. And the buckles in, I mean, there's some scratches and stuff, but it's not that bad. I looked on the real real and it looks like just the buckle itself 
this exact buckle was selling for $145 on the real wheel. Now I would only get, uh, what's 50% of that? 60, 50, I don't know. Anyway, not a ton. So I don't know. I'll probably sell it on my own just because that it is a Gucci belt. It just has a flaw, but I, you could put some glue in there, hold her down. She'd be good to go. So not bad. The best thing in my box, probably in the best condition too, other than like some dirt inside are some Louboutins and just like a super classic black pump, pointed toe, but yeah, they're just, <laughs> okay, sorry, I had a visitor. Anyway, I have never had Christian Louboutins before, so I don't really know what to look for, but like either these have been repainted or resold or like they were never worn on like concrete <laughs> because the bottoms are awesome. Um, I mean, they feel really nice, buttery leather. They're a size 41. Yeah, so I don't know. We'll see. But comps look like I could probably get between two and 300 for these if they're real. So I'm gonna get them authenticated just for peace of mind. So that's everything that was in my first box. Um, like I said, it wasn't like the best box, but like I am excited about those and the Gucci belt. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what your favorite piece was. Let me know if you've had any, if you've ever sold this Bally brand before and if so, how that did for you and check back because I have four more boxes. <laughs> Bye.